1994 Celica GT4 here in bright red obviously two litre turbo again if you're watching the video you know what you're looking at Specialist things choice of two of these in our up and coming sale body work wise we're going to start off the bonnet it is all nice and red it's nice and shiny there's a few bits in the paintwork a few little blebs around that grill there and a few little stone chips down on the leading edge of the bonnet here and there but overall nice and presentable good one for the local car shows this one it certainly is We've got a little bit of sort of micro blistering in the light wells there obviously the bumper's fiberglass or plastic and a little bit on these grills here same again both sides but sort of scuff wise we're all nice and clean i have been told this light setup's quite rare to find um, so you've got the little, like, little spotlights down here. Granted, they have got a few little cracks in them. Little indicator lenses and the actual headlights are all nice. Crack free, nice and clear. A few stone chips down the front end there. No issues with that. And a few little marks on the split there, but that's to be expected. On up in the driver's wing now, we've got a little bit of a scratch here. As we go around the wing, corrosion-wise, rust-wise, all nice and straight. A little bit of flat paint there but it's all nice and clean a few little surface scratches in the paintwork on this one got these i think they're team dynamics personally i'm not really too sure what make the allies are sort of got that rising sun thing going on in the middle there as we come down the body kit is all all right nice and tight the car you've got a few stone chips and a few scuffs here and we've got a little bit of blebbing on the bottom of the driver's door that is the bottom of the driver's door a little bit of a scratch here as you come up nice and straight there's a few little bits in the paint here and there across the top of the window is all good we'll jump up on the roof a few little bits around the leading edge of the roof but not bad at all again nice and red across there down the window pillar where, where you get the odd stone chip it does blub up a little bit we'll have got some on here down this front pillar on the driver's side as we go up the rear quarter again, nice and straight, you can see that. We've got a little bit of a sort of haze reaction in the paint here. The camera's picking that up, so that's good. You can see that. As we come around the rear arch again, at the front edge of it's all nice and solid. The actual edge of the arch is all nice and tight. Nice and tight, that's not the right expression there. Nice and solid, put your hand behind it and you can feel the lip. We have got some bubbling here. This is on the rear of the driver's arch. You can see it's kind of starts here and comes down the arch a little bit. But again, when you feel behind there, you can feel, you can feel the metal. So there is something going on on the back of the driver's arch. But if you stand back, you know, you're not noticing that. It's a little bit, you can live with that for now. As we come down on the rear valance, you can see it's like the cracking in the paint there. Go round on the bumper corners again, nice and scuff free across that back bumper on both sides and across the top ridge there. Is all nice onto the lights again, crack free both sides and the top of the boot lid. We've got a little bit on here, a little sort of bit of reaction in the paint. You can see that there across the top of there, but it's only in you know from here to here. The rest of it's all nice, spoiler's all good. A little bit lifting on the edge of the spoiler, if you can see that there. And again, all nice around the windows, all good. Window looks good as well. Down onto the passenger side now, we're going to do the arch. We haven't got anything at the back of this one. That looks all all right there. As we come round the arch, we've got a tiny bit at the front of the passenger rear arch. And we've got a little bit of a scuff here. There's a few little bits in the paint there. As we come down, as we come down, passenger side, you can see this is the back edge of the door here. I'll open that up so we can have a look from the back. You can see we've got some corrosion on this door a bit of paint lift there across there you can see lots of blebs on the bottom of the door i'm sorry about the background noise there what that's going on here today side skirts all all right and a little bit on that arch there passing just real arch there at the back and we've got some few little bits in the paint here actually on the door if you can see that there i don't think the camera's going to pick that up but you've got some like sort of bubbling in the paint on the door here as it comes down the rest of the door Again, some paint reaction here on the pillar. And I did notice another spot. You've got to catch it in the right light to kind of notice it on the wing here. Corrosion-wise on the front wing. 
Again, we've got some paint, like sort of hazing in the paint down here. As we go around the arch, got a little bit of a bleb there. It's all all right, a bit of paint flake here. But overall, a good base, you can get away with that for now. These cars are fairly hard to come by these days. But sensible money. Engine bay is nice and tidy, but we'll come back to that. Interior-wise, black door cards are all nice and straight, nice and clean. Nice and tidy. Not much wear at all to the seats, the right amount of wear really. Bolsters all nice and, nice and firm as well. I'll pop that seat forward again. Back seats are all nice and clean, nice and tidy. No wear, no rips or tears. Same with the headline and again, lovely condition. Back seats having very little use by the looks of that. Across the top, the dashboard's all crack free. All nice and clean, nice and straight. The dials are nice and easy to read. After mounted head unit there. Across the centre console again, is all nice, straight, nice and clean. Into the boot. Uh, the boot struts want replacing there a little bit soggy, but nice and tidy in the boot again. Spare wheel, boot floor looks all good. Nice and straight. On the passenger side now. Again, that door card's in lovely condition, as is the seat. All nice and tidy, nice and clean. Minimal wear again. Interior wise, really nice and tidy. On the engine bay now, again nice and clean in here. We'll look around the strut tops, have a good look down there. That's all nice and straight, nice and clean. We're gonna fire it up here. Again, we're not gonna start revving it. It's cold, it's turboed. Ticks over lovely, starts first time. Like I say, it's cold start up. We're not gonna start revving these cars because they're meant to be warmed up. But you can hear that engine's ticking over nice and quietly there. We'll give it a tiny bit of a red just to check the exhaust. Check there's nothing nasty coming out of there. All nice and clean, no smoke, no water or anything like that. And there you have it. 1994 Toyota Celica GT4 in red.